Today we're cooking for three dollars a day and I'm not talking about a sad day today I'm not, we're not gonna do instant noodles for every single meal We're gonna try to balance nutrition and fun and just overall quality of food and enjoyment into three dollars a day We're gonna do three meals, which means the average meal is gonna cost one dollar. So let's try to do that so for breakfast, I thought I'd go for an oatmeal situation, but this time I'm gonna go for a savory oatmeal. Something that I've never done before on the channel. I'm gonna make a miso green onion oatmeal and it's gonna be delicious, check it out. I discovered the world of savory oatmeal recently after being so bored with the same old sweet oatmeal vibes. This particular dish showed me how the true limit of the power of oats is yet to be revealed to me, which is a great position to be in. For this, I would go for a larger, Grain rolled oat just because it's gonna lead to a way better texture despite the longer cooking time. You wanna take a big pot like this and start toasting your oats with nothing in the pan. I don't know if this step is placebo to me, but I feel like it does something to the taste, almost like a bit of a toasty flavor addition. Anyways, once you're bored by that, add one and a half cups of water and we're gonna need some more water on the side just to add gradually. That's because I like treating this like a risotto. The oats are slowly going to release their starch and it's it's going to naturally thicken the dish. Not unlike risotto rice. But you need to be patient. Keep adding water when you feel like things are getting too dry. I personally prefer a less dense creamy oatmeal so I'm probably gonna add more water than you. And you can pretty much stop this process whenever you feel like your oatmeal is cooked enough. And from here it's time to flavor our oatmeal. I will first add a teaspoon of miso paste. This is a paste made of fermented soybeans and it packs so much umami flavor. One pack of this is pretty pricey, but it's going to last you so long. Like, you only need a teaspoon at a time. I'm also going to chop one green onion. I'm reserving some of the greens for topping purposes. And I'm giving those a finer chop. So I'm adding my green onion in, and just stir this to get it incorporated. Then I'm going in with some dark soy sauce, and some toasted sesame oil. You can use regular soy sauce, but I enjoyed the deeper flavor of the dark soy for this dish. And yeah, this is pretty much done. On the side I'm also gonna fry an egg so I'm dropping it in some oil on medium high heat. I want to get those crispy edges. I'm also using the oil to baste the egg to help the whites cook faster. And yeah just get my oatmeal in a bowl, top with the egg and some of those green onions and also I'm adding some sesame seeds but don't tell anyone. And yeah this is a 60 cent nutritious breakfast. Here's the price breakdown if you're wondering. So I got breakfast here. Uh, if I calculate it correctly this is around 65 Five to 70 cents which is crazy and honestly this is way more than a portion for me i just put it here because it looks pretty in this big plate mm, goes so well with this crispy egg so we're off to a great start let's see if we can keep the momentum going for lunch i'm gonna take a can of tuna and make something very special out of it tuna can be pretty expensive oh no pun intended, but you can definitely find cheap cans of tuna in places like Aldi, especially if you buy them in bulk. So what I'm gonna do is a bit of a tuna burger, I would say. So let's start off by making the patty itself. So it's pretty simple. This actually ended up making two patties, believe it or not. Deposit your tuna in a bowl, add a chopped scallion, some breadcrumbs just to hold things together, one egg, and then season it with whatever, including salt. I had thyme and paprika. I also added just a few capers here for a bit of an acidic kick. Another trick is to add a touch of flour. This creates a better texture in the final product and it also makes forming the patty just a bit easier, just like I did here. We're gonna heat a pan on medium high heat and before we fry our patties, we have to toast our buns. This is gonna prevent them from going soggy. But after that's done, I'm gonna add a bit of oil and slap my tuna boy onto the pan and cook for about two minutes on each side. You're gonna know when to flip. I like adding a touch of flaky salt to the patty, it just makes me feel fancy. It's the little things in life, guys. And after that, we're done with the hardest part. Now we gotta assemble. On this bottom bun, I added a yogurt and cilantro sauce that I made by combining yogurt and cilantro. Who would have thought? I would have added some lemon, but we're on a tight budget here. I'm adding my patty on top of that, and then some tomato and cucumber slices that, of course, I'm going to salt. 
before applying another layer of our lovely sauce. And then let's crown our lunch king. This thing is very satisfying, pretty nutritious, easy to make, and it cost me around $1.80, which is not a lot, but it does put us in a pretty difficult position for dinner. All right, it's burger tasting time. Mm, mm. You know what's a game changer in this burger? I think it's the capers. The capers work so well with the tuna. It does not feel like a cheap meal, I'll tell you that much. And I could have this for lunch every day. I would not mind this. Actually, I would like this. For dinner, I'm gonna go for some classic pasta. And pasta doesn't have to be expensive. And even if it's not, we do not have to sacrifice quality in the dish. This has to be one of my favorite pasta dishes ever. Just wait and see how amazingly simple this sauce is. First, you gotta take an onion and chop it up in one motion like this, otherwise it won't work. And in a significant amount of olive oil, we will start sweating our onion, as well as two cloves of garlic that I'm crushing using my garlic crushing device. That scrape is so satisfying. So after our aromatics become nice and fragrant, which means you can smell them and they smell nice, we're gonna add about 250 grams of cherry tomatoes and a very generous amount of salt. This will help the tomatoes break down faster. I also added some chili flakes because I was feeling spicy tonight. Now you gotta be patient here, but to speed up the process, you can add just a tiny bit of water and top the whole thing with a lid. You only have to keep them there for about six to seven minutes because after a while you'll notice them starting to get very mushy and you can actually help them a bit by crushing them with your wooden spoon. Now I forgot to mention I also had some pasta cooking here and unfortunately I had to buy a pretty cheap pasta which actually does make a big difference in simple sauces like this one. I reserved some of the pasta water which I'm adding to the pan right now. All that starch is really going to help the sauce become naturally thick and silky. And look at that, after just a couple of minutes, it's starting to come together as a really nice tomato sauce, kind of like magic. If you do have a basil plant in your house, this would be a good time to exploit its labor. But of course, don't do it if you have to buy fresh basil because it's pretty expensive, it's not gonna fit this budget. Add your pasta and give it a little bit of a mix, a bit of a toss, until the sauce is nicely incorporated. And yeah, a really solid pasta dish. And I was feeling a bit fancy, so I topped it with some parm cheese. But don't tell anyone because I don't want to add that to the budget. Speaking of which, here's the price breakdown of this dish. This is actually one of the cheapest pasta dishes you can make. What I love most about this is the simplicity of the ingredients and how the sauce kind of comes together like magic. You would not think this would pack so much flavor. Woo! One too many chili flakes, but it's amazing. Whew, and yeah, that completes the day. All right, guys, and that was it for today. We tried going for $3 a day. We did go a bit over budget, but still under $4. So I'm just gonna call that $3, you know? Before I go, I wanna tell you about my Discord server. If you wanna be part of the community, interact with some lovely people, interact with me, and maybe be part of future videos in which I talk to my community directly, join the Discord server. It's all good fun. Just do it now. And also, please support my Patreon. It's just four euros a month. You get access to all sorts of exclusive things from me. It's a very good way to support me. And thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, click on one of these two videos. I, you probably like them too. Subscribe, comment, like. Oh, what else? Just do, do everything or do nothing. Just thank you for watching generally. It's all thanks. Good. I'll see you.